Thanks, Marcus. In this sports report, the St. Louis Cardinals win the World Series, college football, NFL, and some announcements by the 49ers. The bidding began on free agent ace pitcher for the Seagull Lions, the Suka Matsuzuka. Ace had a deal with, have a deal with Cisco Group to move to Fremont, and Gary Sheffield was traded. Let's start out the action with the St. Louis Cardinals World Series win. The Cardinals won the World Series with only 83 regular season wins, a struggling offense, and a poor pitching staff. Yet they won. David Eckstein was the World Series MVP, and the Tigers committed nine errors, six of which were by their pitchers. The Tigers still had an amazing season. After just a couple of years ago, they were struggling and the worst team in baseball. The bidding has begun on the free agent pitcher, Dasuke Matsuzuka. The Seagull Lions posted them up for bidding after they got into financial trouble with the Japanese Baseball League. Several teams have bid on him, and the Boston Red Sox have the highest bid. MLB will announce tomorrow who has the rights to talk with Matsuzuka, if the Lions agree. The Boston Red Sox are said to have bid somewhere between 38 and $45 million. This is just in from the New York Times Newswire. Gary Sheffield has been traded to Detroit for three minor league pitchers. The A's have announced that they will move to Fremont, California. They have reached a deal with the Cisco Systems for a high-tech ball stadium. The new ballpark will be the template for future stadiums, says the A's GM, and will be open in, in 2009. In the NFL, Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts out Tom Brady and the New England Patriots last week. They won 27-20. The Colts remain undefeated for the second year in a row at 8-0. If the Patriots and the Colts do meet in the playoffs, it will almost certainly be in the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. The Bears lost and now are 7-1. Here are the standings. In the AFC, the Patriots, Colts, and Ravens all have commanding leagues in their divisions respectively, while the Broncos and the Chargers are tied for first in the AFC West. In the NFC, the Giants, Bears, Saints, and Seahawks all have leads in their divisions. The defending Super Bowl champions, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are struggling. The San Francisco 49ers announced that after their contract runs out with Candlestick Park, they'll move to Santa Clara and let San Francisco goes ahead with the proposed stadium plans. San Francisco is one of the three cities in America vying for the 2016 Summer Olympics. In college football, we have the AP and BCS rankings. In the BCS, the Buckeyes are still in first, the Wolverines are in second, Louisville is in third, and the Rutgers are in 13th. The Buckeyes and the Wolverines play next week. That should be a very big game. Now to some video from the Louisville-Rutgers game. This is a very huge game for both teams. Undefeated and tied atop the Big East standings, national titles, Hopes up for grabs. First quarter, Louisville drive. Second goal, Anthony out. Touchdown, Louisville. Cardinals, 7 nothing. Still first quarter, third and 13 for the Cardinals. Brian Braun dropping back. It's picked off by Devon Thompson. He takes it to the Louisville 26. This comes after a Rutgers turnover. Huge defensive play to keep it close. First play for the Rutgers at the intersection. Mike Teal throws a deep one on the road. Touchdown, Rutgers! It's tied at 7. 26 yard TD pass. Brian Braun is sharing it from that interception from his quarterback coach. Ensuing Rutgers kickoff, Louisville special teams have been a big part of their season. Juwan Stillman, goodbye! No one's going to touch him! That's a 100 yard return for a touchdown. Huge run. Extra point try, it's blocked! but picked up by Louisville anyway for a two-point conversion. They got two, when they really should have only gotten one or nothing. 57 Louisville. That was four huge plays in just 45 seconds. Second corner, more for the Cardinal offense. Braun, Riley, touchdown Louisville! Braun was 13 for 17 passing on the day with 163 yards and a touchdown. That was his lowest passing yard tonight in his career. Louisville still up 25 7. Rutgers possession. They go to the main man, Ray. Rice! 18 yard touchdown run. 
He came in third in the nation of rushing. Rutgers down 11. Third quarter. Rutgers trailing 25-14. Teal. Across the middle. Finds his receiver, Anthony Burr. He's down, going down 65, four yards to five. The defender pokes the ball away, but he recovers and stays in bounds. William gave with the strip, heads up play by Britt. First and goal. Rice. <laughs> Touchdown! 131 yards and 22 carries for Rice today. The two point conversion is good, and they're going nuts in New Jersey. Down 25 22. Same score. First and 10 for Rutgers after a Louisville punt. It is Rice and he's cooking down there now. 16 yards and first down. That would set up the kicker Edo. The 46-yard field goal attempt, and it's good, and the game is tied. Rutgers comes way back. The defense scores seven straight punts. They get the ball again. Seal with the fullback, Ryan Leonard. Huge game. First down, Knights. And there's Rice once again. Up the middle. Ray Rice, 20 yards in that carry. Here comes Edo now, 33 yards away. He can win it for Rutgers. There are 20 seconds left to go. And he missed it. Why left? But wait, there are flags in the play. Collins offsides against Louisville, and he's given a good chance. Another try from 28 yards. It's good. Few and goal Rutgers. And Edo knows where the sky cam is. He points right at it. Last chance for Louisville. Brought his sacks. And that's the ball game. Rutgers win. Massive upset. And they can celebrate in New Jersey. The largest crowd in Rutgers history. 45,111 at the birthplace of college football. They now control the sole possession of the Big East and have good hopes of winning the national championship. Louisville will definitely fall in the Rutgers World Wide in the BCS and AP polls. The New England Revolution play their game against Houston in the Major League Soccer Playoffs next Sunday. That will do it for Sports Report. Back to you, Marcus. This has been a special ABC 24 News Web News Report.